Hello, welcome to Stray Pixel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the viewport clipping technique and how to use them practically in 3ds Max. Now, you might have uh, faced this kind of an artifact issue in 3ds Max while working on project like this. When you uh, move your object or tumble around your uh, viewport, you can see the flickering going on heavily and sometimes some objects are visible, sometimes some objects are showing penetration with another object uh, or maybe some objects are absolutely invisible or you are seen through that object but if when you zoom in, nothing is there, no problem whatsoever and if you see the other viewports uh, uh, in a wireframe view everything is perfect positions and sometimes it's showing uh, it's been overlapping sometimes it's showing over it's it's absolutely perfect so why this artifacts happens and how to control these things now two are completely different things now let let us first tell let me tell let me just tell you that why this thing happens so that you can tr you can try to avoid that this kind of uh, 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 artifacts so when you use a huge scene uh, scale scene scale and and you are creating a very small object in that scale that actually triggered this kind of an artifacts or vice versa like you have a very small uh, scaling factor like a millimeter or something like that and you are creating a huge uh, uh, object on that particular scene like some f uh, 10 feet or something like that so that also can trigger this kind of uh, uh, issues in the viewport now to avoid them please make sure your scaling factors are absolutely perfect or matching uh, with your uh, with your object size so if you are making a very huge object in, in your uh, scene which is a which is relatively very small in terms of the unique factors then this kind of things will happen now how to handle them now for handling this uh, viewport clipping is absolutely the right uh, uh, tool to handle me. You can see that when I'm actually tumbling around, you can see the flickering are, uh, flickerings are happening. So you can go to perspective and turn on the viewport clipping. Now, even after viewport clipping, you might see that uh, this is not go this is not changing. I mean, it's nothing changed. It's still there. That's because you need to just have to uh, increase or decrease the near clip and the far clip value. The near clip or far clip value is the one which is uh, which actually going to uh, uh, solve your problem now if either you have to increase the amount or you have to decrease that so major time I f I face that you know uh, decreasing the amount of is actually going to solve the uh, solve the artifact issue in your viewport now if you rotate you see all the time all the uh, artifact that was actually visible earlier was not there at all and your uh, object is looking perfectly fine so this is nothing but an it is there is no uh, a graphic sort of issue a lot of people can uh, think about this is a graphics issue this this happens because of the graphic card uh, uh, you know your graphic card that doesn't have your uh, updated driver or something like that that's not the case that's not a, that's not the real thing the actual thing is that wh when you are actually creating uh, the scaling uh, uh, wrong scaling factors then this kind of things actually usually happen so uh, what is this near clip or far clip if you guys have any idea then uh, then it's fine otherwise I'm just giving you a very brief about it through a camera because you cannot select the perspective as a camera in 3ds max so I have created a a, a very free camera uh, sorry a target camera uh, uh, and if you turn on the clipping planes like clip manually and you can see there is a, a range uh, of uh, of of this camera that has been visible which means any objects within this particular area will be visible inside the camera now there is a uh, sorry there is a uh, there is a limitation of these things that I'm I'm going to show you that uh, let's suppose I say it's 200 or maybe oh, sorry a little bit larger so now my clipping plane at uh, the uh, the far clip is actually uh, just in between my uh, model so what you what you will going to see in the uh, camera view is something like this so that means beyond anything of this value will not be visible inside the camera so this is a very important important uh, uh, thing to know now this is the far clip another same thing will happen 
in the near clip if you if you also you know increase too much of the near clip if you let's say uh, increase the value to 100 maybe oops or maybe oops sorry I sorry I increase the value of yeah so uh, maybe 500 yeah so now you can see this is my far clip uh, sorry the near clip now if you increase the near clip also let me get back to now see it th the objects which is near to the camera started clipping out so anything in between will be visible and anything beyond the snare clip or the far clip will be absolutely invisible through the camera now sometimes this is a very interesting one now we just oops sorry again oh okay so sometimes what happened is uh, you can see the similar kind of artifacts see this is also happening over here so uh, this this kind of artifacts also happen in the camera view also now that also can be defend uh, if you render this out you you won't see any problem at all whatsoever but this is absolutely a viewport problem now if you increase the clip now there is a very high chance that as when till the time that you uh, that you increase the clip to fix this out maybe uh, you know your object starts to getting uh, clipping away or maybe cutting out your your uh, 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 object some somewhere but you can see still it's actually you know uh, uh, resolve that issue also by the clipping planes option in a camera but I would highly recommend you not to do this one until unless you are absolutely sure about it because this is something which is going from for your render okay so this is very very important if you if you use this near clip option or even the far clip option this might happen that some of your object you you lost them accidentally or you might have moved the camera or maybe your camera has been animated from one object to another or maybe zooming in or maybe tracking in and there you might lose some of the objects so that will be very very risky so rather than doing that I would recommend you in the viewport you go to the camera option exactly like the perspective and others just turn on the viewport clipping and use this and see this is very different one the ca the viewport clipping and the camera clipping plane are not the same though they have they will uh, solve the purpose but they are not the same thing so what you can do is you can change it over here just increasing a little bit of uh, uh, the lower the near clip one and then that's it you can tumble across and you don't have to even uh, you know uh, you don't have to even change the camera clipping option in in your uh, in your camera uh, modify panel from your camera modify panel you just have to because this is all about the viewport this is not going to affect your rendering so that is a very important point which you need to remember so all these artifacts can be uh, can be go away uh, through this uh, viewport clipping in uh, viewport clipping option so hope you enjoy this thank you very much and please subscribe to YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.